Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you about the protein precipitation. So many people in my WhatsApp group asking me to upload video based upon this topic of protein precipitation. That's only the reason I'm uploading this topic. So let us learn about it properly. So this is a method which is widely used in downstream processing of biological products for purification of the proteins from the various contaminants. Contaminants are nothing but the harmful, harmful particles which are attached towards these proteins. So what is the main aim of this precipitation? To obtain the proteins in a pure form rather than the impure form. All right. So here the proteins are made up of amino acids which we, where we all of us know that. So this pure form of proteins will be obtained by this precipitation by using salt. So based upon the quantity of the salt which will be used, this protein precipitation can be explained in two types, salting in and salting out based upon the type of uh, concentration which are going to use. So let us see. So for the precipitation process, salt is very much required. So which type of salt is been required here? Either ammonium sulphate salt or sodium sulphate salt. But in the many cases, ammonium sulphate salt only will be used when compared to that of sodium salt. Sodium sulphate salt. Why? Because most of the properties will be exhibited by the ammonium sulphate salt only when compared to that of sodium sulphate salt. And even when you use ammonium sulphate to this precipitation process, then pure form of proteins, 100% pure form of proteins will be obtained. But when you use this sodium sulphate salt in this precipitation process, only 75% of pure of proteins can be obtained but not 100% right so that's only the reason we are going to use here ammonium sulphate and what are the properties which will be exhibited by this ammonium sulphate salt this ammonium sulphate are highly soluble and it is inexpensive and normally when you use this ammonium sulphate salt in the precipitation process the highest purity level of the proteins will be obtained and it doesn't changes the ph you know it doesn't change the ph the ph of the sulf ammonium sulphate salt will not get changed when it will be added into the protein solution and this is the important thing which you have to remember when you use this ammonium sulphate salt in the protein solution then the proteins will not get denatured so you know what is meant by denaturation process denaturation is nothing but the process of conversion from a st tertiary structure of protein into the primary structure so normally the structures of the protein will be four types first one is primary structure secondary structure tertiary structure and quaternary structure right so Denaturation is a process in such a way that the conversion of uh, you know quaternary structure into the primary structure. So here in this precipitation process, if the quaternary structures of proteins are present, then the pure form of quaternary structures of proteins will only be obtained, but not primary structures because here the denaturation process has not, not gone undergone because here the ammonium sulphate salt will be used. Because of using ammonium sulphate salt, the denaturation, of, the denaturation of proteins will not occur. Instead of using this both salts, for example, if you use any chemical and if you induce any chemical into this, uh, you know, salt, salting in process, in this precipitation process, then immediately the proteins will get denatured. So to prevent that, we are going to use this ammonium sulphate salt and this will be the introduction of this protein precipitation and which type of salt will be used. So here ammonium sulphate salt only will be used when compared to that of sodium sulphate salt. So now let us learn about the salting in process. So now coming to the salting in process. So firstly take a beaker, like a beaker or else any container and pour some water into that beaker or a container. And we know that the water is nothing but the H2O molecules, water molecules. Okay. And now after, after adding of water into this beaker, now add protein molecules into that water. This red color one which I have drawn, which are circular in shape are called as proteins and now add salt and here one of the important thing which you have to remember is that the salt which are going to add will be in the low concentration only the salt which are going to add in the low concentration only so if you add this salt in a high concentration then the process is called as salting out here the process is called as salting in hence we are going to use here the salt in a low concentration only so this is the major difference between the salting in and salting out so in the salting in the low concentration of the salt will be used and in the salting out the high concentration of the salt will be used right and now when you when you induce salt into this beaker of a or a container which consists of the proteins and the water in a low concentration then now what happens then the interaction of salt and proteins occur so why the interaction of the salt and protein occur? Because the electrostatic energy which is present between the, between the molecules of proteins will get decreases when you add the salt in a low concentration. Actually between the proteins, between each of the protein, electrostatic energy will be present. So between this protein, between these two proteins, electrostatic energy will be present. And between these two proteins, electrostatic energy will be present. But here, when you add the salt in a low concentration, the electrostatic energy which is present between the both of these proteins 
will get decreased so when this electrostatic energy will get decreased then the solubility will increase so when the solubility of the protein increases then immediately the salt will get attracted towards the proteins hence the interaction of the salt and protein will occur and which type of interaction will get occur in this uh, salting in process hydrophilic interaction so what is meant by this hydrophilic and hydrophobic and i think you people have an idea about this hydrophilic and hydrophobic and people who don't have any idea upon this see so listen here properly so normally there will be two groups there are hydrophilic group and hydrophobic group this is normally this is also called as hydrophilic hydrophilic head and this hydrophobic end okay so this hydrophilic head why it is called as hydrophilic head because it is present like a uh, in a outer region hence it is called as head and this is called as hydrophobic end why it is called as hydrophobic end because they are presented towards inner side and this hydrophobic hydrophilic ends are presented towards outer side so as this hydrophilic ends are presented towards outer side then it can interact towards the salt so normally we know that the proteins are made up of the amino acids and these are hydrophilic groups of amino acid will get interacted towards the salt because these are exposed towards the outside whereas if you see in the case of hydrophobic groups these are interacted towards the you know inner side but not towards the outer side so as we know that the salt will not come into the you know this salt will not come into the uh, proteins and will not get interacted towards inner side it will just attracted towards the hydrophilic ends because they are present or as these are exposed towards the outside only that's only the reason we are calling here interaction as a hydrophilic interaction and hence here the second important thing is that which you have to remember is a hydrophilic interactions occur uh, between the salt and protein so here this salt why we are going to add this salt when the salt will be added in the low concentration it helps the protein to maintain its stability okay so here uh, one of the important thing which you have to remember is that the salt which you are going to add is in the low concentration only and here there is a small doubt which you will get that is nothing but when you add the salt into the water the salt will interact towards the water molecule right so why it will interact towards the protein but why not it will not why not it will not interact to the water molecule because the electrostatic energy which is present between the protein is very uh, low hence the salt will attract towards the protein rather than this water molecule own so this will be the salting in process so by the salting in what you would understood so here the pure form of proteins are not been obtained why for example if you the, this is a the here the salt has been attached uh, to the proteins right and now remove the total water and now if you take this proteins if you extract this proteins do you think that the salt has been removed no because the salt has been attached to the protein right so when you extract the protein then the salt will also be come out so here the pure form of salting uh, pure form of uh, proteins has been not obtained in the salting in process right because if you obtain this proteins then the salt will also be attached to it why because the interaction of the salt and protein occur but if you see the case of salting out so now let us see the case of the salting out now again the same you have to take a beaker and now you have to pour water into it so now you have to add proteins into it and now here the salt which are going to add should be in high concentration but in the salting in the salt which should be added in the low concentration remember this both points okay so this is the major difference between the salting in and salting out so high concentration of salt will be added to it so when the high concentration of salt will get added then the salt will interact to the water molecule but not to the proteins but not to the proteins why because when the salt will be added in the low concentration then only the salt will get interacted to the proteins when the salt will be added to the high concentration in the high concentration then the salt will interact to the water but not to the proteins this is the important thing which you have to remember so here as the salt will be interacted to the water then what happens to the proteins then the proteins will be uh, left alone and then interactions of the proteins will occur in such a way that the protein mass will be formed and this type of interactions occur here hydrophilic interactions only why hydrophilic interactions will be present because this hydrophilic groups will be exposed towards the environment and hence all of this interaction occurs towards each other in such a way that the protein mass you know the mass of the proteins will occur like this interacting towards each other each protein will be interacted towards each side and then it forms a protein mass like this okay and this interaction is called as hydrophilic interaction and now next what happens so this hydrophilic interactions occur and there is a precipitate which will be formed at the end at the corner end of the uh, you know what you will take here like a any beaker or container here the precipitate will be obtained the protein mass precipitate will be obtained at the corner end of the container or else any beaker okay so now what you have to do 
so now remove this total water and remember this is called as salt water why it is called as salt water because the salt has been mixed in the water because the interaction the salt will be interacted towards the water right hence this is called as salt water so this salt water will be removed so instead of instead of call, calling it as salt water you can call it as a supernatant why it is called as supernatant because we are calling this as a precipitate hence you have to call it as supernatant so the supernatant will be removed and now this precipitate this protein mass precipitate will be extracted and will be extracted so which type of proteins will be obtained comment in the comment box so which type of proteins will be obtained because the answer i already given you in this video itself so you you people know what is the answer and just comment in the comment box so let us see and even i'm going to give you a reply for you whether it is right or wrong so and here one of the important thing which you have to remember is that why the protein will get interacted why not the protein will not interact towards the salt why let us see here because the electrostatic energy which is present between the protein molecule increases increases so what is mean by electrostatic energy which i have said you in the salting in the electrostatic energy is nothing but it is present between each of the protein here in the case of salting in the electrostatic energy is very low so that the proteins will not get interacted but in the salting out process here the high concentration of salt has been added hence the uh, salt will get interacted towards the water molecule so that the electrostatic energy which is present between the both proteins will we increased when it get increased then the proteins will get attracted towards each of its side so when and it forms a proteins and finally it forms a precipitate and this water molecules will get extracted out which consists of the salt and the total fine uh, you know uh, fine mass of the proteins will get extracted and which type of proteins will be extracted either it is a pure form or impure form let us comment in the comment box you you have to you have to comment in the comment box whether it is a correct answer right or wrong answer i am going to reply you and thank you for watching this video guys and the notes proper notes of the of this topic will be given for you in the whatsapp group once if you join in the whatsapp group and if you message me then the notes will be given for you and remember the notes will be in the written form and the notes are during my college days so that's only the reason i'm going to provide the notes for you so thank you for watching this video guys if you like this video please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for this